So we've all witnessed Donald Trump's refusal to condemn Vladimir Putin and his frequent willingness to lavish praise on him. And Trump's affinity for Putin has resonated not just with his base, but with a large share of elected Republicans. It was just last month that the Republican chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, Congressman Michael McCall, told Puck News this, quote, I think Russian propaganda has made its way into the United States, unfortunately, and it's infected a good chunk of my party's base. No kidding. It, it begs the question that perplexed so many of us. How did this happen to the party once again led by Reagan? Once led by Reagan, not that long ago. That's exactly what my next guest, The Daily Show's Jordan Klepper, is trying to get to the bottom of in his new special. I would like to see America be more like Russia. What do you like about Vladimir Putin? I used to watch his videos, of course, back writing back in the day. What's happening in Russia is basically a Republican wet dream. He's a strong, he's um, he's well-mannered. Putin is well-mannered, we right? Absolutely. He knows where the fork goes, where the knife goes, which window the journalist goes out of. <laughs> This is the traditional image of Americans that Russians have in their minds, that we're stupid, that we're gullible, that we smile at everyone like total idiots. Do you think the world would be safer with Donald Trump returning to the presidency? 100%. I know without a fact it would. Without a fact, it would be a safer yes. world. Okay, this looks so good. Uh, the Daily Show correspondent Jordan Klepper joins me now. So, Jordan, I mean, you, we've talked about this a lot before. You, you've famously been to a lot of Trump rallies. You've heard them say a lot of crazy things at these rallies. But why did you want to take a deeper look at this issue of Russia specifically, and why now? Well, I think, you know, what we've noticed over these last few months is Russia has always sort of been in part of the conversation, but mm -hmm. we're seeing it really affect uh, American government, American politics, and the conversation around Vladimir Putin has shifted. Uh, at one point where people on the campaign trail would just laud him being a strong man, but still criticize some of the more autocratic tendencies, we started to suddenly see people just celebrating Vladimir P Putin. I believe there was even a statistic that came out that said the MAGA base, uh, over 50 percent of the people think uh, Vladimir Putin is a better president than Joe Biden. And I think this goes beyond just blatant partisanship. It's a real shift in the Republican Party that we kind of wanted to jump into and explore. Yeah, it's so interesting, and a lot of people still don't know a lot about this. I mean, you said something earlier this week to that point that stuck out to me about how you noticed people at Trump rallies kind of shied away, as you just said, from Russia. But then when Tucker Carlson interviewed Putin, there was a, a kind of a shift. I mean, like, Russia sort of became a gold star. Like, that woman said she wants America to become more like Russia. Like, what? But tell me a little bit about that shift you saw. Well, I think the Tucker Carlson uh, interview was a really important one. When we went out to these rallies in Pennsylvania, we went to one in Wisconsin as well, and you asked people what they thought of Moscow, more and more people pointed to the Tucker Carlson interview. Putin looks like a nice guy. He seems smart. The subways are super clean. I mean, it's very powerful watching Tucker Carlson sniff uh, ciabatta roll. For some reason, mm -hmm. that, <laughs> that gets into people's minds. Uh, mm -hmm. It feeds into the things they want to hear, and I think that's the danger of Russian propaganda. They say it's not about creating false stories. That's in there as well. It's about telling people 80 percent the things they want to hear and then 20 percent what they want you to hear. And I think folks like this see Moscow. They want to know that a place like that is better than Biden's America and they mm -hmm. buy into this image and it keeps getting fed over and over to them. Which is, it's like what the Russian propaganda machine does to their own people, which is what makes this so interesting. I've always thought Trump follows some of the playbook of that. So you kind of answered a little bit of this, but I was curious, I mean, and, and of course, Tucker Carlson loves grocery stores there. I don't even know. But is your sense that people are tremendously misinformed about what's happening in Russia? It, it sounds like you're saying maybe they just want to believe kind of the vibe that Tucker Carlson and others are projecting, or what's going on with like their level of knowledge? I think what's interesting about this is it asks a bigger question. Is this a story about American gullibility? On some hand, yes. This idea of useful idiots, the Vladimir Lenin uh, phrase about Americans. Like, are we just gullible wanting to believe these things? That serves Vladimir Putin. He wants a chaotic America. But there's a darker question this asks as well. How much of this is the MAGA base just being fooled by Russia? And how much of this is the MAGA base actually leaning towards an autocratic regime? They like 
Putin being anti-woke. They like these anti-LGBTQ uh, policies. So there's, there's something darker that lies underneath a lot of this. It's folks not just being swayed by Vladimir Putin, but there's something there in the way in which he treats his citizens and controls his country that is appealing to a majority of the GOP base. So as you were putting this special together, which we're all going to watch tomorrow night, it sounds great. Uh, what, did anything surprise you about kind of what you compiled and your ongoing conversations with people as you were finalizing the special? Well, you know, I'm starting to get used to people talking about uh, Zelensky's yachts or Hunter Biden conspiracies. So those are somewhat rote, and I heard plenty of those on the campaign trail. But what we decided to do with this is feels like Americans get farther and farther away from reality. And so instead of letting this special just live in the, the fields of Green Bay, Wisconsin, we jumped to Estonia, and I talked with the prime minister there. I spent some time in the woods with the Estonian Defense League, who are literally training in case Russia comes over the border and invades. And so, so much of this lives in theory. And when I talk to people out in the field, they, they tell you what the dangers could or could not be. And so for this special, we were like, let's just get closer and closer to people who are actually affected by this, people who lived mm -hmm. underneath a Soviet regime, and talk to them about what autocracy is really like and what are the actual dangers. And is, is this something we really want? I mean, despite Vladimir Putin riding on a horse, which I thought was so fu a funny reference point. Um, Jordan Klepper, so looking forward to watching this. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, you can watch The Daily Show Presents, Jordan Klepper, Fingers the Pulse, Moscow Tools, tomorrow night on Comedy Central at 11.30 p.m. Eastern and on Paramount Plus the following day. That does it for me today. We'll see you tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern. We have a big show.